Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain about what is the use of servlet config in web.xml file. Servlet config is used to get information from web.xml file. The general purpose of XML file is used to store data, not to display data. An object of servlet config is created by the web container for C servlet. Servlet config is implemented by the servlet container to initialize a single servlet using init method. We can pass initialization parameters to servlet using web.xml file generally known as deployment descriptor. The object of the servlet config is used to get configuration information such as parameter name and value from the deployment descriptor. Let's implement servlet config programmatically. For that I am using web.xml file which I have shown you in previous video. I am removing these values because we don't use these values for now. For implementing servlet config, we need to add one tag that is init param. Init param stands for initialization of parameters. In initialization parameters, we also have two tags that is parameter name and parameter value that is param name and parameter value. This is like as key pair values. I'm giving the parameter name as username and the value of the username is Samir and next I'm removing the servlet name also. Now we have to create one fresh servlet for implementing the servlet config mechanism. For that you need to go to Java resource and project package and in project package select a new and create servlet our servlet name is servlet config demo servlet config config demo which implements http servlets and click next the servlet config demo url path okay click next we don't want constructor for this and we don't want do post method also click finish do get method has been auto generated we need to remove these lines and create our own code First, we need to implement import servlet config. CR servlet config. Servlet config, which is available in java.x package config equal to get servlet config generally this is has to be right in init method for now i am using it in do get method import this and next next take a string variable string config value equal to config dot get init init parameter takes name of the parameter as a argument the name of the parameter is user 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 name control c and control v which returns the value of user parameter 
now i want to display the value in web page for that i need to write response response dot set content type content type equal set content type is text or html then i need to use print writer print writer dot writer get writer now i want the message the init parameter value is next i want to print config value which is a string next i want to close writer writer dot close that's it now we need to configure this web dot x file annotate this and use these servlet values the servlet name can give our own name the name is servlet config and servlet class is com dot servlet demo and and name of the class is servlet config demo then url name servlet config now the url i want is my call i can invoke this servlet by using my con url let's save and save the servlet also and run this enter project on server click finish okay the welcome page has been shown now give our url our url is mycon mycon hit enter it's showing the value the init parameter value is samir here the value is also samir this is just like fetching the values from the database if any specific content is modified from time to time you can manage the web application easily without modifying the server through editing the value in web.xml file this is the core advantage of servlet config but the disadvantage is you you cannot access these values in other servlet because these values are used only for this servlet only which is available in com.servletdemo.servletconfig you cannot use for other servlet let's add some more values in web.xml file and check whether it is showing or not now i am stopping this server now i am copying these values copy Control the username one and username two. And this name is Pavan, and this name is Nurong. Save this web.xml file. Remove the extra spaces. Now let's go to servlet programming code. Now I am changing the code. Control X. First, I set the content type to HTML and text. Next, I imported print writer. Then I created object for servlet config. Now I removing this line and this code also. Now I want to use this method called get init parameter name 
which returns enumeration object config dot get in it parameters name which returns enumeration object equal to enumeration enumeration string enumeration object equal to config dot get init parameter now fetch the values from enumeration object for that i'm using while loop while enum enum object dot get has more element before using this we need one empty string empty string value equal to semicolon this line specifies if enumeration object has one or more elements that returns true next now fetch the element one by one enum object enum obj dot next element next element this value stored in the value string i want to print this value writer dot print name parameter name appending the value the value displays the name of the parameter now we using this value we can fetch the value of the parameter next writer dot print config get init parameter the parameter is value this line specifies that get the value of this parameter now I want some string before it is printing that is parameter value meter value after displaying the one parameter I want to print in next line I'm using br tag for break the line now close the writer writer dot close and save this program and save this web dot xml file and run this on project run on server save and finish doing the welcome page let's give our Surlet URL that is mycon and hit enter. It's showing the value. The parameter name is username2 and parameter value is anurag and parameter name is 1 and parameter value is pavan. Parameter name is username and parameter value is samir. Let's cross check username2 anurag, username2 anurag. And username one is Pavan, username one is Pavan, and username is Samir, and username is. In this way, we can use Surlet config parameters. That's it, guys. Meet you in the next video.